Hey guys, it's Cece and welcome to my October TBR. Welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the books that I'm planning to read in the month of October, which I am super excited to do. Just know that this isn't my full TBR. I am planning on participating in Spookathon, which is a readathon hosted by Lala over at Books and Lala, and I'm going to have a separate TBR up shortly, um, which details the five books that I'm planning to read for that readathon. But today I'm going to talk about the other books that I want to read this month, and uh, with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first book that I want to talk about is actually the book that my patrons chose for me to read, and the book that you can all read along with me. So for some more info, in case you don't know, my patrons choose a book that I'm going to read each and every month, so my patrons voted. I'm going to show you the book that they chose. I absolutely rely on Patreon. It is an incredible help, and I think that we've created a really cool community over there. In particular, I wanted to thank my librarian patrons, who are my patrons at the highest level. Those librarian patrons are Ashley, Babette, Christine, Kim, Rebecca, and Rox at Aspiring underscore Rox on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much for continuing to make this channel possible. So, the book that my patrons chose for me to read the month of October is Sawkill Girls by Claire Legrand, which I cannot wait to read this book. And, like I said, this is a book you can read along with me. Just in case you don't know, I have been partnering with Caravan. Caravan is a platform that makes it really easy to find groups or even just individual buddies to read books with. I worked with them in September, and as a group, we all read Wilder Girls, and we had, like, three really interesting discussions. So, if you want to join into a new reading group, we're going to be reading Sawkill Girls together. I will leave the link to that group down in the description below. Check it out. Come read Sawkill Girls with us. Honestly, I feel like I used to know a lot more about Sawkill Girls than I do now. At this point, I just kind of know queer girls and fighting a monster. I believe this is about girls have been disappearing for decades on the island of Sawkill Rock. Um, and people whisper that a monster is responsible. So there is Marion, Zoe, and Val, and they are going to go fight the evil. I know that there are a variety of queer identities, and I know that this is one of the most recommended books on my channel. Like, people constantly urge me to read this book. So, found this copy, and I'm gonna be reading Sawkill Girls along with all of you. If you want to join in, the link will be down in the description below. Thank you so much to Caravan for sponsoring this video and for working with me. I think it's been a really Really cool element of reading books. I did also want to talk about the two books that I'm currently reading. The first of those is Salt Slow. This is by Julia Armfield and is going to be released on October 8th. This is a collection of short stories. This is a debut author. This is her first book, but I am absolutely in love with these stories. I'm about a little more than halfway through and I've been giving every single story five out of five stars. Um, this is kind of about women's experiences pushed to a surreal and horrific extreme. There was one story that was about sleep becoming a different figure, like one day people's sleep just walked away from them and is now its own being that haunts them while none of them can sleep. That was a really interesting story. Um, I just read one last night about a like an all-girl band, and everywhere that this band goes, there are sort of these mysterious deaths, but the deaths always seem to be about, like, men who don't understand and about the inherent draw of female bands that, like, the impact they have on women as listeners. Some of these are horror, some of them are sci-fi, some of them are just interesting and lyrical. I'm loving it, though, so... That's what I'm currently reading. I'm also currently reading Cantoras by Carolina de Robertis, which is a historical fiction book about a group of five women in Uruguay. It starts in the 1970s and is about this group of five women going and they find this small island where they can be themselves because being queer is criminalized. So it's about 35 years of these women's lives. Um, on and off, going to visit the island, going away from the island, and I am in love with it so far. I'm about two or three chapters in, two chapters in, but that's about where I'm at. Um, I absolutely love this book as well. It just came out in September. I highly encourage you to check it out. I would also really love to read Black Mage by Daniel Barnes and DJ Kirkland. This is a graphic novel that I picked up at Book Expo. 
I don't know that much else about it. I'm just trying to get through some of my graphic novels and I think that this one looks interesting. So hopefully I'll be able to get through that one fairly quickly and I'll be able to tell you more. Is this already out? This is coming out October 29th. So end of the month is when this will be uh, everywhere. I also have Ordinary Girls by Jakira Diaz. This is a memoir about Jakira's life. Jakira grew up in housing projects in Puerto Rico and in Miami Beach and this is about her experience with depression, sexual assault, Puerto Rico's history of colonialism, and it's also queer. So I picked this one up at Book Expo as well, and I thought it was perfect for, uh, we are still currently in Hispanic Heritage Month, so I've been trying to read more books by Latinx authors. October is also LGBTQ History Month, so this as well as Santoras are both like perfect for this time of year. Two more books I want to talk about, the first of which is The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Janata Petras. This is a YA contemporary about two girls, one from Trinidad and one from Minneapolis. Audra, a girl from Trinidad, uh, is caught by her mother kissing her girlfriend, and so she is sent to live with her father in Minneapolis, where she meets a girl named Mabel, a girl who is struggling with a mystery illness. I am always eager to read more female-female romances, and this in particular is about two queer women of color, which is even more incredible, so I'm really hoping I can get to this one soon. It was just released at the end of September, so this is already available everywhere and you can check it out as well. I hope you do. I think it sounds brilliant. And shockingly, the last book I have to talk about is queer as well. That is The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starling. I'm just gonna read a sentence on the back of this. Um, it is a thriller with horror elements uh, in which a caver on a foreign planet finds herself on a terrifying psychological and emotional journey for survival. So it's about a caver on a foreign planet, and uh, the leader of her expedition is not afraid to completely leave her in the dark about what she's looking for. She is totally fine with pumping the main character full of experimental drugs, and it's also queer. I recently just watched the movie The Descent, which was... Uh, made in 2005, and I feel like it got me in the perfect mood to read this sci-fi horror book, which was released back in April. This has also become one of the most recommended books on my channel as far as, like, people recommending it to me. Like, this and Saw Kill Girls constantly recommended, and since they're both weird, eerie books about queer girls, they feel like they're perfect for this time of year, and in October, I'm hopefully going to finally read them. Okay, that is it. Those are all of the books that I'm going to talk about today for my October TBR. What do you think of these books? What do you think of my picks? Are there any that you've read already that you think I'm going to really enjoy? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you're going to be joining us reading Sawkill Girls in the Caravan group, and be sure to let me know a book that you are extremely excited to read in October. With that out of the way, it is time for me to go and get ready. I'm going to go see Dodie in concert tonight, and I'm dying. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in another one very soon. Bye!